Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. So today's question comes from Chaza495, Charlie. Um, be sure to check out his channel. You can find him under Partners in Crime on my channel page. <clears throat> Charlie's question is, how do I create such cool intro videos? And I don't take that as much of a question as I do as a compliment. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, it's very simple, actually. Uh, the primary factors are having some introduction audio, and all of my audio comes from my own music project. So um, if you click on my channel page and look under the hookup and click on the niche project, it'll take you to my Reverb Nation page, and you can download all of my music for free. I've got 20 plus tracks there. You guys are welcome to download it, share it with your friends, so it's all free. Anyway, so there's a plug for my music. Um, now the next factor that comes into play here, uh, as far as creating introduction videos and stuff like that, you want to have some stock footage. And here's a clip from uh, some stock footage that I had when I shot uh, that I shot when I, while I was living in Hawaii. So the factor here is you want to come in and, and select a clip, and I chose a clip right here. You can see the birds flying through just to give the clip some actual motion, okay? And um, so the first thing you want to do is come in and set an endpoint and an out, out point for your clip, as you can see that I've done right here where the birds fly through. And then I'm gonna drag this clip down onto my timeline. So, and your clips, uh, you want to do, intros can be around eight to 10 seconds long, depending on the music and various factors. Um, I usually go for anywhere from 14 to 16 seconds, so I can do a fade out on the end and fade out the music and stuff like that. So to create this effect, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna highlight my initial track, and I'm gonna choose Command C to copy it. I'm gonna come off to the side here and do a Command V to paste that track after I've copied it. I'm gonna drag that above my initial track there, and you see that I have two duplicates. Now, the next thing you'll want to do is come up here and make sure that wire image wireframe are selected here. Okay, that's going to show you your outline for your image and allow you to crop the image uh, once you get it into perspective. So, very easy here. Once you have this clip highlighted, you want to go to effects, video filters, perspective, and I'm going to choose flop. And that's going to reverse the video horizontally. And now I want to flip it vertically. So I'm going to choose Effect, Video Filters, Perspective, Rotate. Some more YouTube mail coming in there. And then I'm going to choose Effect, Video Filters, Perspective, and Rotate again. So now my clip is now flipped horizont horizontally and vertically. Now, you want to come down here and select the Crop Tool. Okay, and once that's selected, you can come up into your video and grab the clip. Now you can see this is my secondary layer. Now there's the original clip and the one I'm dragging around here is my secondary clip. I'm just gonna bring that straight to the middle right there and now I have a mirror image. So kind of surrealistic looking so far but what I want to do is I'm gonna throw a little blur in here and then I'm gonna throw a title in and blur the title and make the title reflect in the water as well. So the first step of this is to I'm going to double click this clip to bring it over into my preview window. I'm going to choose Effects, Video Filters, Blur. I'm going to go for a Gaussian Blur. And once that's in, you'll want to come into Filters up here. And you can choose the amount of blur to place on this. I usually go for around 8. And you'll notice now over in this window how there's the upper clip is very clear and the bottom one's kind of fuzzy a little bit. And this gives kind of the... Uh, perspective or the effect of uh, reflection or whatever. And as an additional, you can highlight that. You can also come in and throw in another effect under, let's say, distort, and I'm going to choose wave. And as you can see now, this has created a wave effect on this lower clip, and it's going to give kind of an effect of the water moving, but it's way too big. That's not acceptable if you see this area sticking off to the side right there. So I'm going to double-click this clip to bring it into my project. I'm going to click on Filters, and under Wave down here, you can choose the Amplitude. So I'm going to bring that down to like one or two. I just want a small wave in there, so I'm going to bring it, I'll bring it down to, let's see, bring it down to three. And then the wavelength, you can adjust that according to, you know, your own uh, choices there. So, And then you can adjust the speed and stuff like that. Now, once your wave is in place, 
you see how it's coming into the um, outside of the video and everything. What you want to do is come over here and uh, highlight your selection tool right there. And you want to come into right here and grab on the very edge of this little window if I can get my cursor on it. I always have a problem with this. Okay. So, yeah, it's going to be problematic here. Now, there we go. I had it. Dang it. Okay. Now, so you want to bring this up and resize this just a little bit to get those corners out of the window. All right. So, there we have it. And when you go through to play this now, the lower half is going to move. It's going to look like water kind of flowing back and forth. So you'll have to play around with this part. This is I'm just showing you the basic concept of it. As far as the effects and the actual water and stuff, you'll kind of have to play around with that to get the desired effect that you want. You could play for hours and finally get something. So anyway, um, next up, I want to bring my title in. I've already created my title uh, within Live Type, which is right here. And I'm going to do a Live Type tutorial soon, so uh, stay tuned for that coming up. So I'm going to drag this title into my timeline here. I'll drop it right there and you'll see right there it is so the thing is I want to position this I'm gonna kinda of position this off to the side and bring it above the water line okay because I want to do a reflection okay so there's my title and to create a reflection in the water basically you want to do the same thing highlight this clip do a command C to copy it come down here out of your timeline do a command V and then you want to drag this up and put it over the top of that so now once again you have two duplicates okay so with this layer selected you want to come back in and do video filters and once again you want to do perspective you want to do flop and you're going to rotate it twice to get it upside down perspective rotate once effects video filters perspective rotate it again now it's flipped horizontally and vertically and then you can come in and drag this down into the water area and this is going to create your reflection in the water and you just kind of have to position that you know, pretty much wherever you want it now once again you can um, have once this clip is highlighted you can go in and do a video filter and I'm going to do another Gaussian blur here and come over to filters and I'm going to take this up to around 8 again and so now you see that the reflection, let me deselect this, now you can see that the reflection has a blur on it as well, which gives it more of a realistic, you know, kind of, uh, kind of effect as far as it being a reflection on the water and stuff. So um, there you have it. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Um, just take a couple of cl clips, duplicate it, rotate, flip, crop, stuff like that. And um, so that's kind of how it creates some of my effects. Here's another one real quick I'll show you just a quick clip of. All right, so um, another thing you can do is create fog layers. I actually did this in live type. I created, uh, did a bunch of equal signs across the screen and then brought it into a final cut and did a Gaussian blur. And so you can't actually see that this is a bunch of equal signs, but just a little tricks like that that you can create various effects. So I created a fog layer in between that video right there. So anyway, um, that's about as quickly as I can sum this up. This is about the third time I've shot this video, and it's always it just keeps running long. So there you have it. That's the quickest, easiest way I can explain it to you. So um, Charlie, I hope this helps you out, and I hope it helps a lot of other people out there. Um, if it did, please post a comment. And as usual, thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help. Peace. Right